Hello and welcome to this video. Today I have nothing to review today, so we are going to be reviewing this ramp. No, I'm just kidding. We aren't gonna review just an individual ramp. We got um what was it? We got five trucks, I think. I think we got five of mix five trucks of mix twenty-five. I know mix twenty-five already? Wow. On our catalog today and so we are going to be reviewing each of the five trucks that i have just so you know whatever's on the thumbnail it is what i'm probably going to review so the first thing i'm going to review is the hyperfuel el toro loco now honestly this truck is fine so let's just get open to it It comes with an orange looking barrel, which is probably the exact same one as the bad company, just probably differently colored. But this is the El Toro Loco barrel. And here's the El Toro Loco Hyperfield. Personally, like, if I was the one in control of the Hyperfield, I'd probably just have um the entire body covered in or the vibrant color because that's what Hot Wheels did with, like, the color changing things. Because, like, the, with the Hot Wheels color changing things, you put it inside the water. Like, it has a full, solid color. You put it in the water, then it reveals the actual color. That's what I feel like Monster Jam should do. They should just have the f a full, solid color to match a truck while looking like... While having the same... A similar color scheme as this. So, honestly, like, maybe just, like, get rid of the the, te the teeth color. But, like, it's what it is. It is what it is. If they only colored this, that would have been fine. Why is it... And in my eyes, it looks fine, I guess. It's not really the best out thing in the world, but I'll deal with it. Now, the next thing I'm going to have to show is the Earthshaker. And I can't seem to open it, except I just did. I apologize if you hear any background noise of a vacuum. So The robot vacuum is going on right now. So here's the Earthshaker, and here's the... The customizable look. And here's the in custom car it comes with. So here's the earth shaker. It just looks like your standard earth shaker. I don't, I don't mind the yellow thing. The BKT printing is nice, obviously. But the chassis reminds me so much. Well, the roll cage reminds me so much of a Team Scream chassis. Because of the gray color. And this is just fine. Maybe one day just remove this. Maybe one day. I'd appreciate it. Or just remove the black part together because that's what Earthshaker looks like nowadays. It doesn't even have this part. Or it still has that part, but it just doesn't have, like, the dirt thing and the black part. But overall, I don't mind this truck. It's not the best, but at least I have it now. The next truck I have is a literal pencil, which I don't have one. And then the, and then the, the pencil is a favorite weapon of... The Joker. If you got the Dark Knight ref if you got the reference from the Dark Knight, good job. So anyways, here's the Joker. I can't I have poor Lux opening these sometimes. There we go. And I hate how these don't come with posters, which I really wish they did. Because I would love to hang them up on the frame. Here's the custom barrel. Looks more like a gravedigger barrel, honestly. And here's the Joker. I actually don't mind this Joker. It looks, well, it does look the same as previous releases. I, this is the second one I had, and it has, obviously, that's a different thing. Of course, the roll cage reminds me of Team Scream. But I think this is a good truck to add to the collection. The Joker looks pretty nice. Just one day, I wish they could make a more of, like, the movie adaptations of some of the DC characters. If they still have the contract, that is, because... Scooby-Doo is going to retire soon, and we don't know if DC will renew the contract, and we don't know if Monster, if Marvel will get die-cast for Spin Master Monster Jam, if, if Disney decides to sign a new toy deal with um, Spin Master. But overall, I don't mind this truck, honestly. Now, the next truck I'm going to show you guys is Blue Thunder. I know this is not Todd's truck. Well, it is, but not the chassis. Here's the barrel. 
Whoops. Here is the barrel. And then here is the blue thunder with the chassis cut with the roll cage color that reminds me a lot of the roll cage that um, Dalton Milliken and Tyler Maniga ran on the truck prior to I think it, when it was prior to when it was converted to Monster Energy from what I can recall. So, so the the rims I don't mind. I think they're cool. I like. I mean, the rims with every truck I've shown so far, I don't mind. Just the Altura Loco ones, just to me, it looks kind of dark on some areas, but overall, it's fine. And the BKT printing's nice. The chat, the roll cage, yet again, looks like a Team Scream truck. But overall, I think this is actually a great design, or a great truck to have in the collection. And obviously, the Blue Thunder truck. I recently saw, um, I recently saw Todd at, um, a week ago at, um, at Glendale. And I think he did a good job at freestyle. So, oh, good job. And then the last truck I'm going to show you guys is, I already unboxed it, Rage. So, this truck, I think it really looks actually nice. Wait, this isn't Rage? Ugh! I'm talking about this Rage. If you don't get the joke, uh, Pirates Curse once ran on Rage's chassis in the 2018 season and even won the Double Down Showdown. In 2018, which that's why I decided to do the joke. Anyways, going back on to Rage, I think this is gonna be a, I, a fan favorite. So here's Rage. It's your Team Scream truck, of course. I think it looks pretty cool. Avengers Racing, if it can focus. Wants to focus. Ah! Okay, I guess it's focus. I like how they include the Avengers Racing. The Rage body looks pretty authentic from what I can think of. Of one day I hmm, yeah, the focus got got lost again. Okay. Okay, just continue. I'm sorry you guys have to deal with a low quality kind of truck. I might have to do this far away. Or show it like this. I think this rage truck actually looks pretty cool. Obviously it has the Power Master, the Power Master thing on the back, and I think it looks actually pretty authentic. I don't know about the color scheme being that accurate. I think from what I can saw in photos, it looked darker. That's just what I see in person. Maybe it looks darker on camera, but um, yeah. The one thing I really think they could have done was obviously BKT printing, but that's besides the point. Anyways, um. I'll rank all the trucks on the that I showed. So, um, uh, last Earthshaker, nothing to add. Uh, fourth, this truck, the Joker. Er, third, I don't mind this. I feel like the windows could have been colored though. Second, Blue Thunder looks pretty authentic to the the truck that when it ran in 2017 and 2016 and 15. And lastly, Rage and. And the best truck, Pirate's Curse. No, I'm just kidding. Rage is the best. If you technically count Pirate's Curse as a part of a that as Rage, then yeah, sure. I one day I do feel like Spin Master should use this chassis and put it on a Megalodon so it can imitate Corey Rummel's Megalodon. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the video of bad jokes and of bad jokes, jokes and my monster truck review. Let's get the thumbnail shot here. Perfect. And I will see you guys later. Bye.